Yeah. Toby Jones is with us this morning. He's contributed to a new book compiled of letters celebrities have written to their 16 year old selves. Hello. Morning, Toby. Was it an interesting experience, that? Yes, absolutely fascinating. Uh, I'd heard about the book, there was a, there was a first volume, mm. and uh, I'd rushed out to buy it because, I, particularly, I, I found being 16, remembering being 16, it's such a vivid moment in one's life. Yeah. You, you feel, you fool yourself into feeling so mature. There you you're, are. You're denied key pleasures. What year was that? Me? Yeah. yeah. What year was that? That picture of you there when you. Oh, see? Christ. Uh, yeah. 1983. 1983. What were you doing? Can you remember? I'm holding forth uh, about everything I know about the world. My vast knowledge As is people being... do when they're 16. Yeah, we are. I, I know everything. All right. And, and your mate's saying, oh, Toby's going on again. I might as well read this letter. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, might, he, he might be writing the letter that I wrote. <laughs> ah, to yeah, 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 exactly. All right. We'll hear more about you holding forth in a minute. Welcome back. If you could write a letter to your 16-year-old self, what would it say? 75 celebrities have revealed what advice they would give to their younger self for a new book, from saying no to drugs to buying shares in Google. Yes, among them, the actor Toby Jones, who's currently starring in Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, mm -hmm. joins us now. Morning. Hello, hello. Well, um, we were just talking a second ago, because uh, uh, I found something last night, funny, that I'd written when I was okay. around 16, just the handwriting was very flat, backward leaning, mm -hmm. but in the book, your letter to your 16 year old self is reproduced in its original handwriting. It's very interesting, is your it? writing, yes. But I'll dig it out uh, while well, you, well, you explain it. Uh, well, I, I mean, when reading the book, the books, uh, the letters themselves are quite revealing, where people have handwritten it, where people have used a computer, yes. where people have scrawled something, and where people have sort of denied the game in a way, they've written one sentence. I think all of those things are as revealing almost as what mm. people actually s say in the letter. And you seem to be saying to your 16-year-old self, stop being so earnest. Yes, which I think is one of the running themes yes, in the right. book. <laughs> like that. I don't oh. know if you can Have catch you found it? This is very small, neat Thank writing. You. Thank you, Bill. Isn't Top it? marks. There. We're there we go. I was just still trying to get the extender in because it is it's very sort of, so you're clearly a meticulous person when you were 16. There, this I don't know, this is here. my writing now, Bill. This is not my 16 year Oh, yes, of course it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting confused. I'm Time a walk. meticulous person now. Ah, right. Was yeah. your, and what was your writing like when you were 16 then? Uh, like you, I was experimenting with various styles Flourishes. to try and get the most sophisticated yeah. looking writing I could. And were you very politically motivated? Because one of the things you think your 16 year old self would be slightly disappointed by the fact that you. Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, there's a couple of people in there who talk about the threat of the Cold War. Mm. Uh, and that was the threat. I was when I was 16, and there was a lot of uh, the, the marches to Greenham Common and everything. I remember doing a lot of that and being very if affected by the climate of, of war. You know, of uh, the bomb you know, hanging over us. I mean, it's interesting. The war was much closer to my. Uh, one of the things I thought about was the the, the war was much closer to my childhood. The World War. World War, World War II, even though I never thought about it, it felt like a very remote thing. Mm. And uh, compared to, you know, obviously, I, the, the war was a much more of an impact. Mm. But so. you had, certainly had a, you must have had a leaning because you, you write to 16 year old go and see the clash. Make sure you see the clash. Yes, uh, I think my, some of my friends have been to see them and I couldn't go that night. And obviously, in retrospect, oh. it's one of those nights yeah. that gets fossilized as. Should have done we that. Should have, yeah, gone. should have done yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. It seems the theme running through it is don't be too hard on yourself. Almost every letter that you read from whichever celebrity you know, who's become successful, you look at it and is it stop being so hard on yourself? Yeah. I, uh, the one I uh, two letters stuck out. I, mean, I think they're all gripping. Yes. In different ways, you know, Sarah Ferguson's letter. Uh, but the, the Stephen King letter seems to me to stick out because it, it's the only one where he makes an imp you know he, he commands his younger self not to involve himself with drugs. Yes, and says there were t you lose and it's ten, just a waste of years, time. Now, obviously, yeah. there's a lot of people talk warning about drugs and things like that, but they're also often saying, "But live the life you're going to live, mm. the way you're going to live it, because mm. you'll learn that as I have yeah. learnt it." But he doesn't say that. He says, "Just don't. Do it. It's just a waste of time." Oh, you were already successful. Why did you do that? Yes. You know? Well, hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't yes. it? Yeah, 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 yes, J.K. Rowling saying to her younger self, self, keep daydreaming. 
and imagining words. Yeah. It sort of works out okay for you. It's an, well, yeah, that's <laughs> a, yeah, it'll all be all right, don't yeah. worry. But it's, um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of, it, it, it's, it's, well, it's not pointless in a sense, but you sort of think, well, hang on a sec, why go through this exercise when you know how it's all going to, to turn out? Well, I mean, I, I don't know about uh, most people, I, I, but I, I find myself constantly questioning my memory of events. So to go back to a period where my memory is very vivid and my version of events is very, very vivid. Did you have any idea that you were going to become an actor at that time? Uh, well, only my, my, my father is an actor, and so I suppose in that sense it was an idea that wasn't completely anathema. But of course, at that age, you're absolutely clear the one thing you won't be is anything like your parents. You know? <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, will do a life that I will lead yeah. my authentic, I will realise my authentic self yeah. and not like be like them. my parents. <laughs> my dad's a journalist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Don't be a journalist and you end up. But you get used stuff. to the chaos that you've grown up with. I yes. mean, the, the different kinds of lifestyle you go in, and it's a True. reflex without True. you realise. Uh, the thing that you're in, which a lot of 16 year olds will be going to see, mm -hmm. will be Tintin, which. Mm -hmm. uh, terribly exciting. Tell us about your role and what you're going to be doing. Uh, well, Tintin, you know, directed by Steven Spielberg in the room and Peter Jackson via a screen in the room really? from his desk in New Zealand and us all in frog suits, like frogman suits doing CGI in, the, in a tiny hangar in Santa Monica, surrounded by a bank of computers sort of generating the images of our movement even as we were working will have no relationship at all to the actual subsequent animation, which is, as you can see. So it's a, it's a, I mean, yeah. all of these things are so... That's a humanised voice, isn't it? CGI, yeah. it's, it's, it's a state of the art. Hum, humanised animation, if you Yeah, like Avatar. It, yeah. it, it yeah. was the same technicians a lot of yeah. I think that's fascinating that Peter Jackson was on a screen. Unbelievable. <laughs> directing the film. I mean, literally, like, was, writing something done. else and then looking at Casey, go, yeah, that was a good take. You know, it's yeah. amazing. Gosh. Amazing. Incredible. Two directors. Yeah. Two quite high profile. On directors. different scenes, not on the same scene. No, no, they did swap ideas Ooh. about that. Wow. Ooh, that's a film in itself. Yeah, I'll say. All right, Toby, thanks very much. Not at all. Thank you. Nice to see you. Dear me, more letters to my 16 year old's health out on October 27th, and Toby's in Tintin on October 26th. What would you say to your 16 year old self quickly? I would say um, the bullies will be nowhere, but you might go somewhere. Wow. Yeah. Is what I'd say. What would you say? Take the opportunity. Just take it. Somebody offers you something, do, do it. Do it. Don't <laughs> That's it from us. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Doing it again tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs>